Let Buckle me tell y'all why Everything I don't accept rides from people Woo. anymore. When I was 20, I worked at Walmart, and there was this 16-year-old boy who worked in the same department as me, and he was relatively unassuming. He was just like this shy, skinny, blonde kid. We got along pretty well. One day, I was clocking out of my shift, and he walks up to me, and he's like, hey, yo, B, you need a ride? Fam? He was like one of those white boys who talks like Jack Harlow. Okay. And usually, I didn't like accepting rides from people, but this day, it was raining really fucking hard out. I did not want to walk all the way to the bus stop. So I was like, you know what? What's the worst thing that could happen? I got in his car. So we're all on right. the highway just shooting the breeze chatting it up at one point i make a comment where i say oh i'm kind of like spongebob you know i'm 20 years old i should have my driver's license by now huh he looks at me he's like oh no you all good brother i don't have my license neither you don't have what and he's like no no chill i just Excuse cried me? don't worry about it i'm like oh no i am a little bit worried actually yeah. i'm getting nervous i look out the window i look back at him and now he's smoking something it looks like a vape pen i'm like oh you okay. vape and he's like oh no it's just weed just weed? You're you're smoking weed while you're driving? What? Like, oh, well, it's laced with a little bit of Fenny, if you know what Fucking I mean. Fucking excuse me? Fenny? Uh, no, I like... don't know what you mean. Who's Fenny? And he's like, you know, it's that shit that Mac Miller smoked. Uh, Mac Miller? The dead rapper who died? You're smoking what he smoked while you're driving me in your car? He's like, oh, no, bro, come down. You tripping, you tripping. At this very I'd be fucking tripping moment, too. he swerves and almost crashes into a CVS. And he's like, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought I saw some dude. He's out to get me. He's in another gang. Another Excuse gang? Excuse me? Yeah, that, that implies the existence of a current gang that you reside in, does it not? This kid looks me dead in the eyes with a dumbfounded look on his face like I said something absurd and goes, You live around here and you ain't never been in a gang before? How you think I got this car? From your mom or something? I don't know. This is when the real direness of the situation starts to sink in, that I am sitting passenger seat in a car with a 16-year-old boy who is smoking fentanyl and driving recklessly in a car he does not have a license or registration to be operating. At this point, I'm just trying to keep oh. the peace so that I can arrive home in one piece. He gets a phone call and picks it up, and he says, Ayo, hey, hang on, man. I'll be there in just a moment. You got to be patient with oh, me. Oh, no, he it says can't to me, get worse. Hey, yo, B, I'll take you home in a minute, but I'm going to go pick up my boys first. And I'm like, no. okay, whatever you say, chief. I'm like, going I'm expecting like 16 year olds like his peers to get in the back seat right tell me why we roll up on two grown-ass fucking men at least their late 20s one has a suspicious what? bag of white powder and the other has a wad of cash in his hand they get in the car one of them's a black guy one of them's a white guy the white guy looks at me he goes hey yo mitchell who's this little white boy you got in the front seat I'm like, sir, who's this little fucking what? First of all, I'm half Mexican. Secondly, who's this little fucking white boy you're calling at 5 p.m. on a Saturday after his four-hour shift at the Walmart neighborhood market to pick you up from a fucking drug deal? You're side-eyeing me, bitch. I should be side-eyeing you. I mean, yeah. like, mentally, I said I didn't actually say that. I wasn't trying to die. Finally, we get close to my house, but yeah. I have him drop me off at a house, like, down the street from where I actually lived and walk the rest of the way because I, I did you. not want these men to know nope. where I resided at. No. As I'm getting out of the car, he looks at me, he goes, hey, yo, B, you cool? We should chill more often brother i'm like <laughs> totally long story fucking short i don't accept rides from rain or snow nothing